We want to welcome each and every one of you for this time of praise and worship. It's a great joy to praise and worship the Lord. And we have been enjoying doing this, and I'm sure that you are also blessed with this praise and worship. When we praise and worship the Lord, everything before us, all the mountains in front of us, they become nothing because we know how great our God is, and He'll take care of all of our mountains. So come along with us. Wherever you are, just make sure that you invite the presence of the Lord in your midst. Make sure there's no disturbance. Just spend a few minutes in the presence of the Lord, praising and worshiping Him. All the Jerichos in front of you, they will go away. Amen? So again, welcome back, and we delight in having you worship along with us. May God be blessed. We're going to sing the song, The Blessing. In fact, we've been wanting to do this song for a long time because this song is so precious. The words of the song, the song is so energetic and it's so popular for a very good reason. And I'm sure as we sing this song that you appropriate every word of the song. This song is from the doxology and from Numbers it says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace and bless you. In fact, we, we say this every day because we need God's blessings in our lives. Amen. We need God's face, God's favor to be upon us. Of course, our God is always looking at us. If you if you go to a if you go to a drama and if your son or daughter is in the drama, even though there might be hundreds of people acting, your eyes would always fall on your children, right? That's how we are so precious to the Lord. So much so the Lord says that He has engraved you in the palm of His hands. That's how precious you are. Not just that, He gave His life for you. He died such a gruesome death so that you and I don't have to endure pain or sickness because He is there with us. So may His favor be upon you for a thousand generations. That's a God we serve for a thousand generations for your children and their children and their grandchildren. So let's appropriate these blessings as we sing this song. Come along with us. Oh uh -huh. 
will be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning in the evening in your coming and your going in your weeping and rejoicing he is for you he is for you he is for you he is for you he is for you
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father. You're always there with us, Lord Father. You're never against us, Lord Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing that you're giving to us to our families, to our children, and their children and grandchildren, Lord Father. Thank you, Lord. You're a God who, Lord, blesses, Lord Father, to the fourth generation, Lord Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We accept it, Lord Jesus. We accept your blessings, Lord Father. We need it all the more, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. You are never there to harm us, but to, Lord Father, prosper us. The plans and purposes that you have is to always prosper us and never to harm us. We thank you, Lord Father. We come into your presence, Lord, rejoicing because you are there at every moment, Lord Father. In our weepings, in our rejoicing, you are always there with us, Lord. You are never too far away from us. So we come into your presence with rejoicing, Lord Father, knowing that you are always there. We are covered in your wings. And in your wings, there is healing. There is deliverance, Lord Father. And we appropriate that in our lives, in our situations. Amen, amen, amen.